Okay, another thing I need to do is I need the ball to bounce when it hits either the top wall or the bottom wall. One thing I don't quite remember is what uh, the x, or sorry, what the y is at this various top. So I'm moving the ball all the way up to the top, right there. It's at the top. And now I'm going to go to motion, and I'm just going to say, what is the y position? It is at zero. No, it's not at zero. Oh, sorry. I have to be on the ball sprite. Now, what is the y position? It is at 167. Okay. So if y is 167 or y position um, negative 167 or negative 168, I need to bounce. So I'm going to do this with a function, I think. And I'm going to create a variable, or sorry, create a block. And this is going to be a motion block. And it's going to be um, upper, lower, uh, bounce. So here's how it works. Um, I am going to uh, look at the position of the ball. Let's see how I do that. Um, I'm going to pass it the y position. So it's going to be um, y position of the ball. I'm going to pass it that as an input. Now, if y position is greater than mod 167, or, or uh, greater than the absolute value of 167, then change the um, ball y. So here's what I mean by this. So 167, we know this is negative 167, this is positive 167. So there's a math operator that I can use called the absolute value, and it's in here, the absolute value. If the absolute value of y position is greater than one, I'll go 166 just to be safe. Um, if it's greater than 166, then I want you to reverse the ball y variable. Do you remember the ball y variable is how the ball moves in the y direction? So, um, absolute value of y position. Will you fit in there? Yes, you will. Um, then we're going to uh, take the variable and um, so if it's plus 10 we want it to be minus 10 ah yeah okay so we're going to take our variable which is called ball y and we're going to multiply it times negative 1 because that will just change its sign right so ball y times negative 1 then set ball y to to ball y times negative 1. So let's look at this again. I'm going to see if it's in a y position such that it's um, either at positive 167 or negative 167. That's what absolute value does. It's greater than 166. Then I'm going to just change the um, ball y to the negative, negative 1. All right, this should work. So I've got this. So now I've got um, in my, I'm on the ball here. Oh, by the way, I should change the name of this sprite to ball. And I'm going to check for the bounce. I'm going to go to my motion, upper lower bounce, and I'm going to pass it something. I'm going to pass it the x position. Oops, sorry, not the x position, the y position of the ball. So now, if the ball gets there, it's going to bounce. So check it out. I'm going to show you that this works. Um, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to my variables. I'm going to set the ball x to 0. I don't want it to move left and right. And I'm going to set this to negative 4. Um, and see what happens. Bounce, bounce, bounce. 
Um, now there actually is a function in here that says if on edge bounce, but I don't want to use that one because I want there to be a different scenario if it goes off the edges. I want it to bounce off the top and the bottom, but not off the edges. Oh, also, I think we wanted a noise if it bounces off the top or the bottom. So let's go into our upper lower bounce and edit. So if this would be the bounce condition, now I'm going to do sounds. You know, I've never used sound ever. Play sound, what sounds we have here? Are there any sounds? Oh, heck. Play note. Okay, so I'm going to go for 0.25 beats. Can I do 90? I wonder what this is going to do. Just experimenting here. That doesn't sound like anything, does it? All right, so we'll just do that. Play 60 um, for 0.25 seconds. And maybe it's even less than that, 0.1 second. OK, let's just see what happens. Feels a little slow, doesn't it? I think we need to change that um, variables. Oh no, it's in motion. I'm gonna edit this, and I'm going to change it to uh, zero five. That sounds pretty good. Okay, I mean, hey, it's not perfect, but I like it. We got an upper or lower bounce, plus we have a sound to go with the bounce. Okay, so we've done our upper or lower bounce, and let's stop that before I go crazy.